I wanted to make a video on how I use my iPad for school. So I have an iPad Pro 12 inch. I don't know if that's the right measurement, but it's the space gray one. Along with the iPad, I use an Apple Pencil. Let's get into my iPad. So everything on my iPad is divided into folders and into that bar at the bottom. But we're going to start with the apps that I have on the bottom. The first one is Memorize. This is a language learning app. I basically mostly use this for Spanish and Irish. And I have a pro membership because I'm literally obsessed with it, but I haven't done it lately. The next thing we have is OneNote. I actually didn't know this existed until my school started like, you know, talking about it. My maths teacher, like he puts all the homework here. So like I just get the homework for any day I want. Yeah, it's really easy. It's really handy. I prefer it because sometimes in class, he's just like, like the bell rings and he's just like homework on OneNote. And then not sometimes, all the time. This next app, this is called Quizlet and I, ow, I live by this. It's actually kind of become a problem because now it's gotten to the point where I can't really learn something without it, which is really bad, but anything I learn in any class becomes a flashcard. You have like your sets and you make all your sets and then once you make your sets, you put them into folders and then I have my different folders here. So say if I want to like learn Irish, I have like all the things that I learned from a class and I put them into flashcards. This is the way I learn the most, like flashcards. I swear to God, I wouldn't be able to live without it. Like next app is YouTube. That's for when I procrastinate. I probably shouldn't have it there, but I do. Then I have Pinterest. I love Pinterest, honestly. This isn't even something productive, but I'm, I'm obsessed with Pinterest. Then we have Safari. This app and the Apple Pencil is one of the main reasons I got an iPad and not a macbook i mean there's other apps that are really good but i love using good notes for it is impeccable i don't even know if that's a word it is a word i don't know what it means you can like select all of this if i want to put it on another page you can put copy then you go to the next page you paste you can resize it you can recolor it like i can make it blue if i want to like i remember when i was buying my ipad i was looking at this app and i'm like this is why i'm buying it like this is why i'm buying my ipad you can import pdfs and like practice things if you live in ireland and you're gonna do junior cert or leaving cert I import leaving cert papers so this is spanish and say i would just like import leaving cert 2016 and then i can go through this and as you can see i've already done this next thing i have is music hey, google translate and duolingo duolingo i don't use as much but i love duolingo for some languages duolingo is good for irish i haven't done much but like i'm almost i think i'm almost finished with the spanish course i don't know i'm not really doing it well because i already know everything okay so that's it for the bar what i wanted to explain about the little bar on the bottom basically it's important what apps you put there so say for example we have good notes right here i just slightly swipe up on the bottom and drag one of these apps to the sides and boom and then you can adjust how you want it you can put it sideways but i'm already doing it vertical so and then like say i want to put on music but i don't want to leave i can just put music here in the middle and it just hovers around here and then you can just hide it and then when you want it again you just bring it back and you're like hey we're back <laughs> that is why it's important what's on your bottom thing there so now i'm gonna go to the folders that i have i'm just gonna quickly go through them because Half of these apps are not very important or not very used. First folder I have is productivity. This is just literally apps that you already get installed. So there's nothing special here at all. Next folder I have is called education. So the first one is Khan Academy. I think it's mostly like maths and sciences, but you get like full on lessons here for free. I don't get the chance to use it as often because I don't really have time. Next I have the TTMIK app. This is um, Talk To Me In Korean. So they are actually a website, but they have an app where you can just quickly get the PDFs, but the website is a lot better. Then I have Spanish Dictionary. This is a very, very good one though. Um, it gives you a lot of examples. It gives you conjugation, example, phrases. Also very good if you learn Spanish. Next app I have is Forest. I don't really use it on my iPad. When I study, I use my iPad. So I would put the Forest app on my phone. If you guys saw like one of my latest videos, it was like have a productive day with me. I was using the Forest app a lot on my phone. This is basically an app that like once you put the timer on and once you plant your tree, 
you can't leave the app so you're not gonna get distracted but next thing I have a side map if you ever don't know how to like figure something out they help you so this is really easy but it basically solves it for you, but if it's like a longer equation, it will explain to you step by step, which I think is very helpful because sometimes there will be like an equation that I'm like, wait, how did they get this number? They explain it step by step. Next up is just the calculator because I don't know why, but the iPad doesn't come with a calculator installed. Next thing I have is neighbor dictionary. This is just a Korean dictionary. This is something to do with Irish, but I don't know where I still have this. I need to delete, delete it. Next I have Webtoon. They're like comics, but you read them on your iPad, but they're in Korean. I do this to like, I read this sometimes to practice Korean. So next folder is school. I don't really know why I have two different folders, like education and school is like the same thing. So I have Google Drive, Google Email. Documents is like a thing to download YouTube video. Puffin is similar. Documents, slides, sheets, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, calendar, they're all very self-explanatory. Edmodo is a thing that like you put in your class code and then you see like your teacher's classes. So I only have my physics class here, but I can just like go into here. And then these are like things that my teacher puts up. That's basically all I use for school. Here I just have like socials, which is like Instagram, VLive, Tumblr, Viki, Spotify, Wattpad, SoundCloud, Netflix. So I was interrupted by my brother because my family just came home. If you have anything you want to see, just comment it down below or DM me on Instagram. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.